Good morning, friends. I'm so glad you're here to learn more about Jesus today. Today we're going to think about our sin, but also how Jesus saved us from our sin. Would you pray with me, please? Dear Jesus, you have done everything for us, even dying on the cross for us. Thank you. Bless our time today as we learn about how much you love us. In your name we pray. Amen. Jesus knew that there was a big problem in the world, and that problem was sin. Ever since Adam and Eve sinned long ago, sin has been a problem for all people. Jesus loves people. Jesus loves you and me. So Jesus left his home in heaven and became a person like us, but he was still God too. He came to earth to help us with our sin problem. Jesus was born as a little baby. Then he grew bigger, just like you are growing bigger. People have a sin problem, but not Jesus. He never whined or fussed. He never said no to his parents. He never hit a friend. He never did any naughty things. Jesus never sinned. Jesus kept all of God's rules for us. When Jesus grew to be a big man, he taught people about God's love and healed people for three years. But the biggest reason Jesus came to earth was to save us from our sins. Jesus knew he would soon die on the cross to pay for our sins. So Jesus went to a garden to pray. He asked his Father in heaven for strength. Soon some soldiers came. March, march, march. They took Jesus to some important church rulers. These rulers did not believe that Jesus was the Savior that God had promised to send. They wanted to get rid of him. They took Jesus to a man named Pontius Pilate. Pilate was the ruler of the country. They told Pilate, Jesus is a troublemaker. He should die. Pilate did not think that Jesus had done anything wrong, but he was afraid of the people. He let his soldiers put a robe on Jesus and hurt him. They gave Jesus a crown, but it was a crown of thorns. Then Pilate had an idea. He brought out Jesus and another man who had done bad things. Pilate asked the people, whom do you want to go free? Whom do you want to die? The people shouted, free Barabbas, nail Jesus to a cross. So Pilate let the soldiers take Jesus and nail him to a cross. And this hurt Jesus very much. But Jesus stayed on the cross so he could take the punishment for our sins. When Jesus hung on the cross, the sky turned very, very dark. It was dark for three whole hours. Finally, Jesus cried out, it is finished, and he died. The ground shook and the rocks broke apart. A big curtain in the temple was torn in two pieces. A soldier said, truly, this was the Son of God. Jesus' friends came and put his body in a tomb. But this is not the end of the story, friends. Jesus did not stay dead. On Easter morning, he came alive again. Because Jesus suffered and died and rose again, God forgives our sins. Because Jesus did this, we can live with him in heaven someday. Jesus loves us so much. We don't have to be afraid of death anymore, but that's not the end of what Jesus does for us. He gives us eternal life. Would you fold your hands and pray with me, please? Dear Jesus, thank you for loving us. Thank you for dying on the cross for our sins. We don't have to be afraid of death because you give us life forever with you. In your name we pray, Jesus. Amen. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you next week.